so there's a huge misconception regarding spirituality as if turning spiritual is equal to on the way of becoming a monk or brahmachari so recently i went to a temple wedding at isha yoga center and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how my views about dating and marriage completely changed after moving to the ashram so if you're interested please watch till the end hi this is shoto and welcome to my youtube channel so if you do not know let me repeat i'm a libra and the main characteristic of a libra is their big flirts i have been to serious relationship i have been to casual dating i've seen my friends getting married getting divorced i've seen my homosexual friends getting used by confused bisexual people i've seen my homosexual friends being in a strong loyal relationship i've seen a lot and all my life i used to hate the concept of marriage because to me marriage is all about showing off your expensive dress and that fake pre-wedding photo shoot that has nothing to do with reality so i never thought about getting married ever in my life so i really used to hate all the troubles that come with marriage and all the fake show off around it recently i went to bhuta shuddhi viva that is a temple wedding happens at isha yoga center and it was completely different from what i knew about what a wedding ritual is first time in life i saw a wedding ritual where nothing has been done twice for the camera it was like a pure wedding ritual where almost everyone is participating in the process and no one is like busy taking selfies or gossiping about the bride and the groom it was completely different it was a wedding between two full time isha volunteers I wasn't invited there. I just took a special permission because I wanted to see the ritual and it was completely different and it was beautiful actually. And later that night I called my mom and told her today I was in a temple wedding and I liked that ritual. It was nothing fake and everything happened within an hour and my mom got scared. She said, "Don't get mad at all of a sudden. If you like someone tell us we'll get you married properly and i was like no i'm telling you something else and i'm making things up and it's really weird how people get married here because dating in the ashram is not allowed in this isha community people are living like old generation in fact not even holding hands are allowed and you're supposed to call everyone anna and akka and if you like someone getting married is the only option to be together and once you get married you get to stay outside the main ashram that's how it goes here and even after getting married no one is allowed to show any affection in public if you break the rules here you can be blacklisted from isha you won't be allowed to come to the ashram or do any kind of isha programs for almost like 3 years first i used to think it's too much but then i realized we all should be responsible to maintain the energy of this place i mean this is not a place for volunteers people come and go all the time but it's the monk or the brahmacharis who maintain the energy of the place who stay here forever and we all should respect their way of living because this is the part of the life they have sacrificed but here in isha we are not encouraged to take brahmacharya we are encouraged to get married directly actually but yeah casual dating is not allowed in fact you are encouraged to live as an individual to turn inward even if you come as a general volunteer you'll get to see you are not allowed to form a group or hang out with the same kind of people every day also during any isha program they keep shuffling the sitting arrangement so you don't end up making a friend in the class i know it sounds weird maybe sounds like sad life of individuals but trust me it's something else everyone lives like a one big family here it's like you don't have a best friend here but you have a one big family who are always ready to listen to you and participate with you in all kind of activities when you live in a positive environment do yoga and work all day then you don't even get time to sit down alone and think about all the sad things in life i think that's the main problem of the so called ultra scientific modern society people have so much free time and they waste their free time thinking about sad stuff people are so lonely out there that they always feel like they need a boyfriend or a girlfriend to not feel alone and it's a common thing that even people are not happy with their friend circle they still tend to stick to that toxic group because they're too afraid to be left alone living in a society is like you're constantly faking to maintain a social status and ultimately 
you know you're not happy there but when you live in a community you don't think about yourself much it's all about sharing and living together happily i know everyone's parents say get married before you're too old otherwise you'll be lonely and sad all your life and no one will be there to take care of you once you're old and we all know they don't even take care of their parents properly you can be sad if you get married to a wrong person when you are not ready you can also be sad being single if you're not living with the right group of people so it's not about getting married will bring you happiness it's about doing what you actually want but if you really turn spiritual then no outsiders or outside situation will decide your inner happiness and that's why spirituality teaches us not to take life decisions in search of happiness take big life decisions once you're truly happy from within only then you'll have total control on whatever comes next and you won't blame others for your life problems so yeah that was today's video if you have any question regarding that temple wedding i have given a link in the description go check that out i don't know much about it but yeah i should mention this is just the ritual it's not a legal wedding so you get to contact with a lawyer to get your marriage registered and uh, also this wedding ritual doesn't come with a guarantee that you won't get separated after this there are stories of couple getting divorced after bhoot shuddhi viva also so yeah please don't have any unrealistic expectation from a temple wedding so yeah that's all for today's video let me know if this video was helpful or not and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you like and please do subscribe if you haven't yet also follow me on my instagram that's it bye